Heron was an entertainer and a flamboyant inventor. Whilst many of Heron's designs were intended to either impress worshippers in a temple or to entertain audiences in a theatre, some were mechanical toys or novelties built simply for amusement in the home. But one invention could have changed the world forever. This peculiar device is not just a toy or a novelty. It's a steam-powered engine invented by Heron. The strange machine is Heron's steam bowl, the first steam turbine engine and the fastest revolving mechanical instrument in the ancient world. Heron was just a half a step away from inventing the steam engine. He knew the principles of steam power and had designed a revolutionary device. What might have happened if he'd taken that extra half step? Heating up the, um, this container here so that it generates steam, there's water in here, and the uh, steam will come up through these pipes into this ball and out through these jets, and then it should spin. It was a sight to behold. Heron had managed to control the power of steam. It was a remarkable breakthrough. This device could perhaps have started an industrial revolution 2,000 years ago. Had Heron combined what he knew about pistons with this steam ball invention, he might have made a true steam engine. The invention of the steam engine in 1721 ushered in the Industrial Revolution, bringing in its wake mass production, high-speed travel, and the birth of the age of the consumer. The modern world was forged by the steam engine. But how would the world look today if that giant leap had been taken by Heron nearly 2,000 years earlier? So why didn't Heron's greatest invention start a revolution? Perhaps he simply didn't make the connections and never saw this wonderful machine as anything more than a toy. Or more sinisterly, in a world run on cheap and plentiful slave power, perhaps no one saw the need for labor-saving devices. It's fascinating to speculate how the world might be different today if we hadn't forgotten Heron of Alexandria and his wonderful inventions, if they'd been embraced rather than rejected by medieval scholars. If the people who'd seen the wondrous steam ball had thought of it as more than an idle curiosity or just a children's plaything. After all, it's clear from his inventions that Heron of Alexandria knew about steam mechanics and knew the basis of computer programming. There's an interesting scholarly question, which is, you look at Heron's writings and, and those of his contemporaries, and we feel they were almost approaching technological liftoff. That in another generation or two with the steam engine and other inventions in the wake of that, we might almost have been facing an industrial revolution taking place 
2,000 years before it actually occurred. We consider ourselves today at the cutting edge of technology, but in many ways we are only just beginning to catch up with developments in the ancient world. Two thousand years ago, there was a world more familiar and more advanced than we might have imagined. A time when mechanical machines brought wonder and magic to ancient cities. A time that has been forgotten for centuries and is only now beginning to be revealed again. What ancient discoveries still await us? And what others have been lost forever? Heron has given us just a glimpse of this amazing world. But what could our world have been like today if we had not forgotten Heron of Alexandria?